Well, Stan, imagine seeing that headline when you read the Baltimore Sun. And that was the experience of Union President Gene Ryan, who came across a published opinion letter from Council President Jack Young. Now, some background here. This all started simmering when the police department required patrol officers to work 12-hour shifts and canceled weekend leave to deal with an escalating crime rate. The union said the rank and file was overworked and blamed the city for lacking a crime-fighting strategy. Well, today, President Jack Young said the problem is the union and specifically its authority over deciding patrol levels. I'm asking you, Gene Ryan, to work with the commissioner, give him the authority to schedule his own officers. Nowhere else in the country do the union control the schedule of the police department. The commissioner's hands is tied and we want him to untie the commissioner's hand so that he can get to crime fighting in Baltimore City and put more officers on the street. Now, earlier today, the union president sat down with police commissioner Kevin Davis and top command staff to discuss the city's crime plan, a meeting Gene Ryan called productive. As for a reaction to Jack Young, here's what he told me earlier tonight. Do you feel like you're tying the commissioner's hands? Absolutely not. The commissioner runs the police department. The union does not run the police department. President Young's wrong about that. This commissioner runs his police department. It's his. He's the top cop. So it's gotten personal as the war of words continues with more back and forth tonight on Twitter over contract negotiations and coming to the table in good faith. Live in the newsroom, Deborah Wiener, WBAL TV 11 News.